Hey guys, episode 29 eps of Hansa Let's Play Europe Universalis 3. Fumbling over my words there, that's because I'm so excited because we're colonizing Brazil finally. Oh, this is what I've been waiting for this whole time. Let's go ahead and explore a bit. There we go, now we got some money. We have 73% chance. That's close enough for me. We're going to save our money to colonize with. We got islands, cool, cool. Lesser Antilles and Puerto Rico. And let's go ahead and get this as well. I do want to get Bermuda. And that's farther north. Not sure exactly where that is. But the more like intermediary places we can take, all the islands in between, the less chance there is that other people will swoop in and take parts of the Americas. Oh, you're very close to dying. Can you hustle back? Can you alright? Nope, we lost one. We'll make it. Let's send another guy. Come on, come on, come on. No, we lost him. Dang it. Well, this, my friends, is why we need to focus on what we are doing. While we're doing that, let's go ahead and send another to Tujukalandia. Let's go ahead and get base tax. Because base tax will help us for the rest of the game. And we get gold, sweet. Gold is very, very, very useful. And let's go ahead and replace our cog fleet. Because, first of all, we need cogs, obviously, to transport people. And one of the things we need them to transport to is to get rid of this problem on the Azores. Let's go ahead and get a new... There we go. This guy we can keep. 868. That is a good lure. And we can diplomatically annex Gelra. That's nice. Do we want... No, we don't have a core on Gelra. That doesn't matter. England, will you join my trade league? I'll pay you once I get money. But I don't have money, so I'll pay you later. How does that sound? There we go. We're actually using a bit of money here. And we got pirates. Awesome. Just what I always wanted, pirates. And we got more rebels. Go away. This is my territory. Go back to your own territory. You're supposed to be over there. Auto save kicking in. All right, we got sugar. Good stuff. That sugar is. Let's go ahead and keep our smaller army here because there seems to be quite a few rebels. We'll just keep them there. And we also need to build some more ships since we have money. Let's go ahead and build another two. So can we build in Mecklenburg? Yeah, let's go ahead and build three more. And you know what we should also do? Be smart over here. Build some caravels. And the reason that we want caravels, first of all, is to combat this aggravating pirate problem. And second of all is because they contribute to our tariff income. And tariffs is what you get for things that are overseas. I don't remember if I covered this or not. I think I did. But quick refresher, if something is a uh, certain distance away from your capital and on a different continent and does not share a land bridge to your capital, then it counts as overseas. And you, your income from that province is not counted in tax and production. It's counted in tariffs. So, oh, we took a loan. That's not good. That's not good at all. We're going to need to repay that in five years, and it's going to kill us with interest. Yeah, we're paying two interest per month. We should really have paid more attention to the economy there. Build a whole crap load of stuff, but I don't want to do that just yet. Because what we need to do is transport. Split off two, split off one, three. Let's transport these guys to the new world. But before we do that, we have to deal with this issue. How are those caribles doing? Almost built good. Court painter? Lose money, gain prestige and stability, or lose prestige. Well, I mean, 
there's 30 ducats we can, we can afford that. Ooh, good deal. You can get trade, tech, investment for a year. Well, almost a year. We can get 50 ducats, or we can get merchants and some ducats. Yeah, I, th I think we're just going to take the money. There we go. You guys go deal with the problem. There we go, and we got the Azor's back. Let's stick around until this fort is built. Revolt risk is 2.6 because of that doggone nationalism. I hate that. Why would you be a nationalist? We own this province. We created it. No one owned it beforehand. Alright, we do have colonists. Let's send them this way. Cayenne will be our first fully developed province in the New World. They will get there in 100 days. Cool. So as soon as that fort's finished, then we can go ahead and stick these guys back here to get fixed up. And actually, let's go ahead and build a constable in Cape Verde. And get ready to build forts in Cayenne. A fort in Cayenne. Sweet. Success. Can't build a fort because I'm out of... I have magistrates. Why can't I build a fort? That is weird. You know, build spy agency. That's not all that useful, but whatever. There we go, fort. Don't know why it was being mean. Why it was not listening to me. Right, I need another explorer. That's what I need. So you guys get an explorer. I really need to pay more attention to my ships. I can't just go losing them all over the place. There we go. One more. Go discovering, my friends. There we go. Canary approach. Yeah, these guys are good enough for a transatlantic voyage. There we go. Tijukalundia is finished as well. So I don't want to send these guys straight here. I want to take my two, my two caravels first to soften them up. You guys just kind of hang out right there. And where are my caravels? Caravels? Showing up. There's one, there's two. I think there's two. Yeah. So we can go join the fight now. Help kill the pirates. Pirate. Single. There we go. Bingo. So these guys can go here. I'm going to keep one caravel here, and the other one can go back across the ocean to the parents. Until I need him again. Alright, so this is my exploration army. So we're going to go explore some more Brazil, because we can actually colonize quite a bit now that we've got cores. Like, we can, um, we can colonize Verona. We can colonize Puerto Rico. And I do want to go find Bermuda as well. So let's go ahead and do that. St. Lucia and Barbados. Oh, we discovered a lot of islands. Good, good. Lake Plateau. Cool. Um, we don't care about you. Sweet naval up, we can build shipyards now. I think we're going to reduce that and do a bit more trade so that we can jump to that. Tech sprint, that's where it's at. Our technology, I believe, is looking good. Yep. So let's build, first of all, a fort here. And also a... Yeah, let's build a workshop. Hold on to the rest of our money. I don't know when that loan is going to come due soon. It's going to be soon though. Um, actually, you guys get that one more and then come back. West Bermuda Sea. So Bermuda's right there. You can see the tip of it. We need to colonize that if we want to prevent competition. Holland, what do you want? Go to war with Cornwall. Cornwall, you don't scare me. 
got rebel problems, you're at war with England and Holland and Brunswick, Navarra and Utrecht. Yeah, that's not an issue. Good. And of course all our friends joined. And Holland is the leader. Cool. England, join me. Very unlikely. Alright, I'm not going to waste money on you. Cancel mission. Okay, we need to get more trade rights. Let's get trade rights from all these crappy, tiny countries that really won't affect our trade. Give me trade. Um, give me trade. You can give me trade too. Give me copper trade. Next, no, give me grain trade. And you give me... You won't give me stuff. Give me you. There we go, that's four. We can get more later if we need it. Um, don't care, don't care. There we go. Lots of merchants, lots of prestige, and lots of national trade. Now we want to make a fleet. What is our fleet limit? Probably kind of high now. 36. Hmm. Well, I do want to increase my fleet, but I don't want to get 26 new ships. That's really expensive, so we're going to cancel that, probably. Um, I wish it would tell me when this loan was due, because it's killing me. Our inflation's going down very, very slowly. Okay, there's the loan due. Uh, 1485, we have two years, so let's go ahead and raise war taxes, first of all, and also lower the treasury so that we can get rid of this inflation, and also research more at the same time. It's a good combo, that. These guys are adventuring. Good to know. How much do we get yearly? Ooh, not much. Okay, war's over. And we got a new war. Seconds later. Dust has not even settled. And what? Holland is at war. Oh boy. Are you our vassal? You are not our vassal. Hmm. You know what, Utrecht? Sorry, I don't want to get involved. I don't have anything to gain from that war. Hmm. Yeah, no, thank you. Sorry, friend. Take a prestige hit, but nothing we can't handle. Also, are we. Okay, they're a duchy. Their kingdom. Um, you should be my vessel. But we can't make you a vessel, so we're just going to dissolve alliance. There we go. That should handle that problem. Yeah, keep that guy. He's good. He's smart. He's effective. Alright, let's send guys to Growl Power. We are going to need to increase our fleet as we go. We got trade rage up as well. Trade is bringing in quite a bit of our income now. That's good. October, that's fine. We can wait. Um, where do we want to invest? Is the question. Level thirteen, we can build counting houses, and those are ridiculously good. We can get cannons at level twelve. Land though. Hmm. Choices, choices. Let's get production first, and then we'll sprint for land. And while we're waiting, let's build constables. Alright, so we're still making mon money. Monies. Not a lot of money, but a little bit of money. And these guys are very low on reinforcements. Don't know why that is. But we need to keep exploring. We want to get Bermuda. That's the goal. What? You failed with 93%. You suck at colonizing. There we go. There's Bermuda. 99%. That's what I like to see. And don't want to build anything because we don't have the money for it. And that's all the time I have for today.
So thanks for watching and join me next time.